Hello, my name is Cicada. Thank you for calling One Star. How can I help you? Oh no. I'm so sorry to hear that. Are you in a safe space? Oh. Okay, could you tell your sister to be cool for like a sec? I see. Could you possibly have your sister step out of the vehicle in that case? Yes, I'll hold. Okay, and what is your issue? And what what kind of sound was the vehicle making before that happened? Okay, so like a mm. So then in that case it was more of a hachachapum Then, uh, okay, well, it is very important to know the sound that it was making prior to the flames coming out of the hood. It can really diagnose the root cause of that. Yes, can be quite indicative, if you will. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, just calm down. Please calm down. First, let's go ahead and take a few deep breaths. Go ahead and take the first deep breath in with me. Deep breath in. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. That's good. That's good. Let's go ahead and do another one. Inhale and exhale. And one last one. Inhale and exhale. Okay. So now the next step that we can move on to is I can deploy the fire extinguisher in the hood. Yes, okay. Now the only thing that I need from you is your account information. So may I have your first and your last name? And if you could please use the phonetic alphabet as you spell it out. Okay. Okay, good. And could you please spell out your last name? Okay, please slow down. Life is a journey, not a race, okay? Thank you. Okay. Now, the last bit of information that I need from you would be your password. Okay, well you could have set up your password as anything. Mm -hmm. About three months ago, we did send out mm, some mail to all of our customers requesting that they all 
adjust their password as our software was hacked. Mm -hmm. All of the information did get uh, released into the wrong hands, but so if your password wasn't changed, it would be randomized. Okay, well, let's see, maybe I can get your address so we can reset that password. And what's your address? Good, good. Try. Okay, let's see here. Okay. That's not the address that I have listed on file here. Would you like for me to update? Your address to that one. Okay, let's just Okay, so I have your address updated per your request. Now we can go ahead and begin resetting your password. What is the primary phone number that you have listed on the account? Okay. So, that's not the phone number that I'm seeing here on the account. Are you sure that you've called the right number? Okay, because yes, we are one star, not on star. So I believe that you have the wrong number. Okay, well, best of luck to you. And please remain on hold and uh, complete our survey. Have a wonderful day. Hello, thank you for calling One Star. How can I help you today? Okay, okay. One moment. Let me go ahead and enter in my codes for all of that. So we have and then we have eighty five. Sixty-two, oh five, and twenty-one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and read back these notes, and you just let me know if I have missed anything. Okay. So you have locked yourself out of your vehicle. Your vehicle is still running. Your wife is in labor at the hospital. You get paid in cash. You are in the center of a busy street and you have to use the restroom really bad. Is that everything? Okay, wonderful. I can assist you with that.
Now if you could, uh, go ahead and unblock one or more of your chakras because mm, I think something's just not right. Okay, step two would be to climb onto your vehicle so that you don't get hit by any oncoming traffic. Safety is our number one priority. Okay, now if you could please provide the name of the hospital that your wife is currently at. My nephew was actually born in that hospital. Yeah. Uh, he's not right, but that's due to other disclosed reasons. Okay, and what is your wife's name? Okay. Okay. Please hold. Hello. Hello, my name is Cicada and I am calling with one star on behalf of our client. I don't know what his name is, but uh, if you could connect me to the maternity ward, that would be excellent. Thank you. Hello, I am calling for somebody's wife. If you could just pass a message for me. Um, I am with one star. If she could just reach out to us and provide the password to their account, that would be wonderful. Okay. Um, and they can just give us a call back at 1-800... One star. Thank you. Okay. You know what? I... Need to look through my handbook. I'm feeling a little bit lost on this guy. Okay, you know what? That's not good. Maybe it's in the handbook. I'm out of dress code. Oh my goodness. Uh, if I get another write up, I'm gonna be toast. They're gonna put me in the pokey. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We don't have that. They'll just put me on tow truck duty. You know what? Um, that gives me an idea. Would you like me to get a tow truck and tow you to the hospital? Okay. All right. Excellent. If you could just please hold for a second. Okay. Hey, my headphone is running out of batteries. Yeah. So do you, do we have any spare bats? Wired. So these don't need batteries. Okay, but... But I keep hearing this beeping going on. It's like a constant beeping. I thought it was low battery. On hold. Let's see. Oh yeah, I just have to drop that one. Drop that call. Hello, sir? Are you still there? Hello? Sir? Are you still there? Sir? Okay. Um, I hope everything goes well with that. 
Hello, thank you for calling One Star. How can I help you? My name is Cicada. Sleeping baby in the vehicle, and you're about to run out of gas. Okay, well, that is absolutely no problem. Okay, we can go ahead and put gas into your vehicle while you remain driving. All you would need to do is open up the gas door so we can put gasoline into your vehicle and we would just need to um, access your GPS so we can find you. Excellent, excellent. That's for- okay, good. So in order for us to obtain your GPS information and pop that gas door open, all you need to say is Kia, blast my cap. Mercedes? Okay. Okay, well Mercedes doesn't have those capabilities. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Reverse siphoning isn't a part of your Mercedes dashboard subscription plan. So unfortunately, yes, you will need to manually pump that petrol into your vehicle by hand. That is correct. I am going to disconnect this call. Please stay on hold for the survey, okay? Bye-bye. You can have the sheet cake. You can have my sheet cake. I don't 